Hey, this is lesson 13.6 found on page 604 in your textbook. And this is back to slope intercept form, but now we are writing an equation from slope inter uh, in slope intercept form. So if we look at a graph, we should be able to write the equation in slope intercept form that goes with the graph. So remember slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept or where the line crosses the y-axis. So for this example one here, we'll just put example one, the y stays y and the x stays x, but the slope here would be, well, let's see, it's going um, down three and over two. So negative three over two, that's the slope. So we put it in place of m. And the y-intercept is uh, 5. The line crosses the y-axis at 5, so that would be a positive 5. So here's the equation. y equals negative 3 halves x plus 5. And let's look. y equals negative 3 halves x plus 5. Whoops, that was an example 1. That was example A. For example B, <clears throat> same kind of problem. We look at that. And we say, okay, well, it's going to be y equals something x, and then the um, y-intercept here. And we'll look for the y-intercept first, and here it crosses the y-axis at negative 3. So instead of plus anything, we'll put minus 3. We could put plus negative 3, but we can just put minus 3. And the slope here, it goes up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and over 1, 2, 3. So rise over run, 5 over 3. So the equation for this line would be y equals 5 thirds x minus 3. And we have y equals 5 thirds x minus 3 right there. On your own problems are going to be uh, hopefully as simple. And we look at those. And I'll write the uh, y-intercept for a uh, slope-intercept form again. y equals mx plus b. <clears throat> so that's what we're trying to find. And for number one on your own, the y stays the y and the x stays the x. But let's look. It crosses the y-axis at 2. So we will have a plus 2 over here. And the slope is up 1, 2, and over 1. So up 2, over 1. We could put 2 over 1, or we could just put 2. Both of those would be correct. For number two, we have y equals something x, and then here it crosses the y-axis at negative 1. So minus 1 for our y-intercept. And let's look at the slope. It goes down 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's a negative 4 over 1, 2, 3. And it went over 3. So y equals negative 4 thirds x minus 1 is our slope-intercept form. And then for example two here, we have this graph right here of this horizontal line. Remember, it will be y equals mx plus b. y equals, let's do the y-intercept first. It crosses at 1, 2, 3, negative 4, so minus 4. And then let's look. Oh, it's a horizontal line. There is no rise to our run, so it's 0 over 1, 2, 3. 0 over 3 is just 0. So we could put this y equals mx plus b, where um, our slope is 0. And that reminds me, yes, of a horizontal line. Uh, the slope is 0. But if we wanted to remember that 0 times x is going to be 0, this would just be y equals, and we're just left with our y-intercept, negative 4. y equals negative 4 is actually in slope-intercept form because the slope drops the x term out because the slope is 0. So y equals negative 4. And they got the equation y equals 0x plus negative 4 or just y equals negative 4. So if we were doing this, which equation is shown for this graph? y equals negative 4 is the only correct answer there. And here's a clever on your own problem. Number 3, write an equation of the line that passes through 0, 5, and 4, 5. And of course, we could just graph it and then do it like we have been. 
But let's look at that without graphing it. Well, we want y equals mx plus b again. And we can look and 0, 5, when x is 0, y is 5, that is our y-intercept. When x is 0, y is 5. So now we have y equals something x plus 5. That point right there was the y-intercept. Well, now we have to figure out the slope. And we can do that without a graph. Remember, change in y over change in x. So y1 minus y, or uh, y2 minus y1 would be 5 minus 5 on the top. And then um, 4 minus 0 on the bottom. 4 minus 0 on the bottom gives us 0 over 4, which is just zero. So our slope is zero here. That lets us know this would actually be a horizontal line passing through five. So we'll put a zero in here and then we'll simplify to y equals five. A horizontal line at y equals five. Because that lesson went so quickly, let's just run through some of these problems over here. Number five, remember we're putting these in slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. So y equals something x. And then let's look, our y-intercept for number 5, it crosses at 4, so this would be plus 4. And our slope is up 1 over 1, so 1. y equals 1x plus 4, or you could just write y equals x plus 4. For number 6, we have y equals something x, and we look for our y-intercept, and it's the origin. So it's actually crossing at plus 0. And our slope is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So down 6, negative 6, and over 1, 2, 3, over 3. If we simplify this, it'd be y equals, this simplifies to negative 2x, and I can drop that off. So y equals negative 2x. And for number 7, y equals something x, something. Let's look, it crosses the y-axis at 1. So plus 1 is our y-intercept. And for our slope, it goes up 1 and over 1, 2, 3, 4. y equals 1 fourth x plus 1, which is already simplified. For the three problems down here, number 8, y equals, and now our slope here is down 1, 2, so negative 2 and over 1, 2, 3, 4. And it crosses the y-axis at 1. And I could simplify that to y equals negative 1 half x plus 1. For number 9, y equals, goes up 1 and over 1, 2, 3. So 1 over 3x, and it crosses the x-axis at negative 1, 2, 3. y equals negative 1 third x minus 3. And then for number 10, y equals, comes down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so negative 5 over 1, 2, negative 5 over 2x, and it crosses the x, or the y-axis at negative 1, so minus 1. Excellent. We'll head over and do journal page 318, which is for lesson 13.6.